Hello fellow viewer, today I will be showing how to unlock the hidden features discovered in Longhorn Build 4015. All of the files mentioned will be linked in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously install Build 4015. Since most 4015 ISOs aren't able to boot properly, I would recommend installing 4008 first, and then installing 4015 using the setup.exe in it while in 4008. Before you install 4008 even, you will need to set the compatibility of the virtual machine to 6.5.x through 7.x. If you're on workstation, you could just use the custom option for creating the virtual machine. Or if you're on player, you could just edit the VMX file of the virtual machine and add what I have pasted in the description below. Once build 4015 is installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the graphics drivers. You're going to want to use the melcher652.iso file I linked in the description. Just mount it to the virtual machine. You're going to want to Press the Windows key in R, type devmgmt.msc, enter, go to Display Adapters. There should just be a generic VGA adapter here. You gotta right click that, Update Driver, install the software from a specific location. You can tell it to search removable media right here, search for the best driver in these locations. And it should search for the driver and install it just fine. Reboot if prompted. After the graphics drivers are installed, you should already be able to enable the 3D view. You just need to shift, right click on the desktop, view, and then 3D view. And here we are in the 3D view. I can enlarge this icon make it spin. We're going to disable the 3D view for now because it makes things kind of laggy with the later things we're going to enable. The next thing you're going to want to do is get the quote-unquote arrow that is in this build, which is glass frames and transparent window borders. To do that, you will need to mount my 4015 resources ISO file. Go to my computer, go into the CD drive, it still says 6.5.2 drivers for some reason, but it's still the 4015 resources file. Copy the registry files to the desktop, and copy the dcglass.dll to the C drive. Let me open both windows here. rename dceglass.dll to just dce.dll. After that, you're going to want to insert your 4008 ISO and then reboot and boot into it. I've just inserted the 4008 ISO. Going to reboot. Press F2 as the virtual machine is loading up. Go to boot and then put CD-ROM drive above hard drive in the boot order. You're going to want to press F10, save and exit, and it'll say press any key to boot from CD, press a key. Once you've booted into setup, you're going to want to press Shift and F10 to open the command prompt, type move, quote, C, colon, backslash, windows, backslash, system, 32, backslash, dce, dot, dll, quote, space, quote, c, colon, backslash, documents, and settings. That will just be the area that we will put the original file in for now. 
Next, you're going to want to move the patch DCE.dll provided in the ISO file I gave to System32. Type move, quote, C colon backslash DCE.dll, quote, space, quote, C colon slash windows backslash system32. And now you are done replacing dce.dll. You can close this command prompt window and cancel the installation. Once you've booted into Lawnhorn again, you're going to want to apply the 4015 to 7 DCE registry key I gave in the 4015 resources ISO. Remember that? Yeah. Okay and then reboot again. Once you've booted into Lawnhorn again, you're going to want to right click on the desktop, Properties, Settings, Advanced, and this Enable Now button for desktop compositing should now be able to be clicked. Click Enable Now. And bam, you have glass borders and transparent windows. Now for the carousel view. This will only take effect in the hardware and devices area of control panel, but you can enable it in other areas with some debugging and editing the system, which I won't get into here. To enable carousel in hardware and devices, just double click the registry file, click yes. Okay. Open up Control Panel, go into Hardware and Devices, and bam, there you have it, the carousel view. We can combine everything together to get an ultra-hot interface. It can get a little laggy with the desktop compositing and 3D view enabled at once though. And there you have it, the most notable discovered hidden features in Longhorn 4015 enabled. If there are any things you need help with or if something didn't work out for you or if I need to clear up something, just leave a comment. And remember, things can get a little unstable. This is a beta build after all. Spin.